So this is going to be for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at what is generally around you from now until the 31st of this month. So let's get straight into it. Today I don't have my headphones in, so um, bear with me if it does sound weird. I don't think that the sound should be terrible, um, but if you do hear me kind of like going away from the camera at any point, that's just the sound, okay? But let's get into it. Okay. So now that we have the cards laid out, let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, also, if at any point you would like to see more of my messages, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. Um, also, check out my Instagram or Twitter. If you're interested in daily horoscopes, I post them over there. My Instagram is Mystical Crystal Tarot, and my Twitter is Mystical Crystal. So follow me there if you um, like those. Um, and yeah, all my information to book a personal session will also be listed below, but let's get into it. So first thing I want to touch on are actually going to be these cards over here. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Emperor, Nine of Swords, and the Magician card. So, um, so right off the bat, Pisces, I see this energy of you like shutting off emotionally to someone because you mentally can't fathom quite what to do in terms of satisfying them. This may be the father of your children, the mother of your children, um, hmm, somebody who you're dealing with. There may be a level of like a power struggle in terms of you guys understanding each other or... Like you guys literally fighting in terms of who has the power in the relationship. Um, now, I see you guys coming out of a space of allowing yourself to be so anxious or worried in terms of this individual. But there could also be a piece of you that feels like there's blocked energy in terms of you being able to manifest new love into your life. Another thing I'm kind of seeing here, I see where some of you guys may just mm, maybe needing to love on yourself a little bit more because this may be causing you right now to be in this mental state of feeling blocked and not feeling as if you have control over your life because there's a lack of you really taking in consideration of your personal feelings, taking in consideration of your own personal needs. It's always you worrying about other people around you, especially if you're a mother or a father. Um, some of you may have been overthinking to a point where it brought you to a point of exhaustion, and this may be what's creating blockages in your manifestation. So you want to be careful of overanalyzing things or overthinking things to a point where it keeps you from manifesting. Now, looking at the rest of the cards, we do have the 12th house. We have in Sagittarius. And we have the fifth house energy. So... Hmm, let's start here. So this is speaking to what's below the surface. So there's a need for you to deal with what's hidden. What's below the surface in terms of your subconscious? And what is basically causing you to make, or not even make, 
take certain actions that may be um, detrimental to you. This is also reanalyzing your faith or what your beliefs are. Hmm. Also, there's a need for you to um, analyze your dreams and make sense of them because that also may be your ancestors or your spirit guide speaking to you through them. Also, with the Sagittarius energy, um, this is you expanding your perspective. This is you expanding your education. For some of you, you may have an interest of going back to school or taking up some other courses, but this is going to help you in terms of getting further in your career, expanding your um, horizons, your ideas in terms of like how far you can actually go and pushing yourself to the limit. And then we also have the fifth house. So this is speaking to your creativity, romance. Um, what else? Children. So those are going to be things that come up during this time frame. Um, there may be a need for you to spend more time having fun instead of being so like in mommy or daddy mode or just always work, no play. Um, if you are somebody who's trying to secure yourself in a more creative career, this is you looking at how you can actually do that and how long it will take you to get to that point to sustain yourself financially. Now, let's look at these other cards we have here. We have Be Assertive. And this is you having to stand up for yourself in terms of like making things clear to people as far as your boundaries are concerned. Um, this is being assertive in terms of like meaning what you say and saying what you mean during this time frame. Um, this is just knowing how to put your foot down so people don't think that they could just take advantage of you. Okay. And we have forgiveness. So this is the energy of you either possibly forgiving someone during this time frame or is someone forgiving you. And with you even possibly forgiving someone, it may not even be necessarily accepting them back into your life. It may be more of like, okay, I know what you did to me. I don't really like the fact that you did such or said things, but I forgive the experience and I learned from it and I won't deal with you again. And that's fine in itself. And we have helpful people. So during this time frame, you may have people around you that may be of benefit to you. This is like, um, say you're trying to get into a certain career. You may have like an uncle who's in that career field and can give you a piece of information. Or some of you need to just allow yourself to be more open to having more meaningful connections around you so that in moments where you need someone to talk to or you need some advice, you would have someone in your corner. So if you find yourself being a loner, this is, you know, maybe considering having one or two friends that you can have in your corner that can be of assistance to you if you do need um, moral support or advice. But this is what I see. I hope that I did put things in perspective for you. If you did take something from this video, feel free to thumbs the video up and yeah, let me know below. Also, like I said, if you would like to get a personal consultation, check out the description box for my link tree and follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want to see daily horoscopes. My Instagram is Mystical Crystal Tarot and then my Twitter is Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here. All right. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.